In this system design series, we will explore NoSQL database types and modern data storage solutions. We'll cover document databases, key value databases, column family databases, and graph databases. What exactly is NoSQL? Firstly, it stands for non-relational. NoSQL databases provide flexible data models beyond the traditional table and row structure found in relational databases. Secondly, NoSQL databases are scalable. They are designed for horizontal scaling, allowing them to handle big data workloads efficiently. Let's delve into document databases. These databases use a JSON-like structure to store data. Here's an example. An object contains an underscore ID with the value user 123. The name is John Doe, age is 30, and the address is comprised of the city which is New York City and the zip code 10001. Key features include a flexible schema, allowing for varied data structures within the same collection, nested data structures, enabling complex data representation, and rich query capabilities, offering powerful ways to retrieve data. Examples of document databases include MongoDB and CouchDB. Next, we'll explore key value databases. These databases use a simple structure consisting of keys and their associated values. For example, the key user colon 123 points to the value John Doe, the key session colon ABC points to the value active, the key cart colon 456 points to items 1 and 2, and the key config colon API points to value v2.1. Key features include being the fastest NoSQL type due to their simplicity, in memory storage for rapid data access, and simple operations such as get, put, and delete. Examples of key value databases are Redis and DynamoDB. Now let's discuss column family databases. These databases organize data into columns rather than rows. For example, with the row key user 123, the name column contains John Doe, the age column is 30, and the city column is New York City. For the row key user 456, the name column contains Jane Smith, and the email column contains jane at email.com. Key features include wide column storage allowing for a large number of columns, sparse data handling, efficiently storing data with many missing values, and high write performance, making them suitable for write-heavy applications. Examples of column family databases include Cassandra and HBase. Lastly, we'll cover graph databases. These databases use a node relationship model to represent and store data. For example, a user node has a follows relationship to a friend node. Key features include efficient management of complex relationships, fast graph traversal for querying connected data, and pattern matching capabilities for discovering relationships. Examples of graph databases include Neo4j and ArangoDB. Let's compare the use cases for each type of NoSQL database. Document databases are suitable for content management, user profiles, and product catalogs. Key value databases are ideal for session storage, caching, and real-time applications. Column family databases are well-suited for time series data, Internet of Things sensors and analytics. Graph databases are used for social networks, recommendation engines, and fraud detection. In summary, it is important to choose the right database for your specific data model and use case. We have covered document databases, key value databases, column family databases, and graph databases. Thank you. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.